Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid and today I'm going to be going over the Paranoid Android 3.0 for your Nexus 7. So this was updated recently from version 2.99 and it really basically gives you tablet UI on your Nexus 7. There is also version 3.0 for Nexus 4 and Nexus 10. If you want you could follow the same steps when I show you at the end of the video on how to install this except instead of PA group, Grouper, yours is either going to be Manta or Mango, I think, something like that. But it's not going to say Grouper, otherwise you'll break your device. That was true. But if you're on the Nexus 7, it's going to be Grouper. So as I said, I will be showing you how to install this at the end of the video. Okay, so going, to, going into settings, as you can see, I have some customization options right here. You have themes, where you could go in and pick a different theme if you want you could download them from the play store then we have lock screen you could add home screen widgets so you could have unlimited widgets on your lock screen you could also add widget rocker uh, music control or volume rocker so you could uh, skip tracks by using your volume rocker on your nexus 7 and you could also set it to wake your screen if you tap on the volume rocker if we go down into toolbars this is where the pie feature is is and so you get a couple of options here if we go down into toolbar some of the stuff you do get you do get custom tiles so these are the tiles that are right here and what you could do is you go to tiles and layout and you could add some other choices and if you want to you could hold and delete it and also you can move them around to move the tiles so, so if we go back into toolbars this is where the pie features are, which everyone is in love with suddenly. And so you get a couple of choices here in pie. So you have toggle area. You could click here, make how much room you want for it to come up. The style. So I'm going to leave it at normal. The size, how big you want it to be. The gravity, where you want the activation spot to be. The gap, so how much gap you want between each one. So we could choose big. Persistent menu button and search button. And so people have had trouble triggering it. As you can see if I'm swiping my finger up, nothing's happening. Oh no, but actually it's not nothing to worry about. So what you want to do is you want to hold the power button. You should get an option that says expand desktop. If you click on that, it'll take your navigation bar away and all that stuff. And now there it is, pie. You sh my trigger spot is from the bottom so you pull up and there it is and so they made some improvements over the past time you get the clock battery status battery status and some other little things there if you go up here it will take you to your notification center if you hold it here and go this way it will take you to your toggles which is pretty cool so basically you could be in this mode all the time as you can see you have home button you could go through here do the multitasking and you just get all the buttons you need here and at the end look look how much more screen real estate you have so this is why people are really loving paranoid android for this feature and i love it too i mean it's really really helpful you get a lot more screen which is what i like about it you still have all your toggles and everything so you're not losing those stuff and that's pretty cool so probably the most well known thing about paranoid android is the hybrid properties so if we go down into there you have some choices PA colors which will change the status bar colors whenever you go into an app we don't need that because we have Pi now um, if we go back we also have stock UI Fablet UI, Tablet UI, and Tablet UI Mid. So this is for basically if you're going to be using this with the status bar, if you're not going to be using really Pi. And so some other stuff you get here, you could customize the interface. And my favorite, you could customize the apps. So basically, you could go to an app. Let's, for example, say, what's an app? Um, let's say. 
Where's YouTube? Let's go to YouTube. If you open that up, you could change the size. So basically, that's the um, DPI. You could go to here and change the layout. You put it at 800 if you want. The color you want the status bar to be when you're in there. And when you're done, you're going to click apply. Grant super user permission. Press OK. And now we're going to launch it. And so we should launch it. And now we have Tablet UI YouTube, which is awesome. You get the 3D YouTube, which is really, really cool. And so that's just some stuff. You could do that to any app you want, which is a really cool thing. Basically, that's it. So now I'm going to be showing you how to flash the ROM. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to flash Paranoid Android version 3 for your Nexus 7. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to boot into recovery. Whatever method you use to get there. I'm going to be using Twerp in this video. You could also use Clockwork Mod, whichever one's better for you. You'll follow the same steps, and there's two files that you should have downloaded. That is the Paranoid Android ROM itself, version 3. Make sure it is for Grouper, not for any other one. So you don't want to get your device bricked. It should say Paranoid Android 3.0 Grouper. And you're going to want to install the Paranoid Android full gaps. After you've done that, go down to where you installed it, and just make sure you have them. So I have Gooper 3.0 and Gaps full 4.2. Okay, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna wipe factory reset. You want to do this twice. Oops. You don't want to format data. You want to do factory reset twice. Then we're gonna go back and wipe cache. You could do this twice also. Now we're going to go back and wipe Dalvik cache. We're going to go back to install. And first you're going to install the PA Grouper version 3.0. It should say PA Grouper 3.0. And you're going to swipe to confirm flash. <coughs> so just let it flash. Shouldn't take too long since AOSP ROMs are usually a lot lighter than other ROMs. And so Paranoid Android, they were on 2.99. This was a recent update that moved it up to 3.0, which should have a lot of fixes, more than new features. So you shouldn't really have any more problems with this. Now we're going to go back and go to that file that we also downloaded, PA Gaps Full. We're going to click on that. It should say PA Gaps Full. We're going to swipe to confirm flash. Also, make sure it is 4.2. This should also not take too long. And one of the other cool things Paranoid Android did is they changed their boot animation. And I like it, it looks really nice. And after they came out with that new Pi feature, which I'll show you, which I probably already showed you, um, it's become very popular and everyone wants it. So after you're done, you're going to reboot system. And that's all. As I said before, if you are on Clockwork Mod Recovery, you, you're going to do the same steps I just showed you. Okay? So it's booting up. I'll show you the boot animation quickly. Kind of like draws a fish. It says Paranoid Android. 3 and up, and it kind of changes colors. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this. And if you like this video, hit the like button. <laughs> also, f uh, like me on Facebook, Phone Tech Kid. Follow me on Twitter at Phone Tech Kid. And also check out my website, www.phonetechkid.com. Thanks for watching.